recording on this computer. Um, do you know how what um, ikki means? Ikki in one go. Perfect. Nice. Um, do you know what a hiza is? Sweet uh, is a sweet Hi. Um. Uh. Nozokikonda. Hi. Ori wa hiza means um knee. The knee. And to um attach a knee means to kneel. So I kneeled and looked into something. Hiza. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Raime. Thunder. Hi. It is thunder. Perfect. And ended with May. Do you know what it started with? Rai. Perfect. Let's go read this Arai. example sentence. Rai me ga ikoeta. I heard thunder. Perfect. Thunder was heard. Can you read this bolded thunder. phrase for me? Uh, ashi ga ga kugaku. Ashi ga ga kugaku. What does it mean? The leg, the leg, uh, the legs, gaku gaku. Mm -hmm. it, it's sh shivering. Yes, it is. Gaku gaku is the sound of your knees knocking together. Perfect. Can you read this um, example sentence for me? Hiza ga gaku gaku shita. The knee buckle. Not really oh, buckle. Shaking. It's like, yeah. How do you read this word? Uh, in suddenly. How about this one? Hanatsu. Hanatsu. It can be throw, which would be horu, right? Horu, which is the same kanji. Um, but this is hanatsu, which means to spit out, basically, to release, rather than uh, to throw. This well, word started with kanji hai. from last lesson, where the firework, the sparkling hai. thing was that is spilling fuku. out from the stone. Hi, that is hai. fuku, which is right here, fukidasu. Um, the difference is that fuku feels more like spitting out, like, puh, 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 right? Feels more like that kind of feeling, like a fire breathing out fire. While hanatsu is more like releasing something that was like building up, probably. Like, um, like you have like everything held up and then suddenly it's being released. Hanatsu type of idea. Um, so it's like when you throw something, for example, to be able to throw it, you have to release it, right? It just throwing has an extra um, movement involved. Well, hanatsu is just not actually throwing anything. Um, it's just things are being emitted, right? So to throw something, you have to wind up your arm, go like this, and then release, right? So this is just focusing on that release, that opening mechanism, basically. This word starts with rai. What did it end with? May. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. Rai mei ga kikoeru saki ni hakiri ga mizo. Before I heard, before the thunder was heard, the light was seen. Hi. What tense is this in? Uh, non-pass. So hi, non-pass. So before... this is either future tense or habitual tense. So when would probably how we would say this in English because we we do habitual in weird senses. So um, before you can hear lightning, the light will you can see the light before um you can hear it hear lightning, right? So it's just kind of like a statement. You see light. Hi before you hear the lightning. Do you know what mijikai means? Mijikai is short. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. He got 
だんだん短くなっている。The day become one by one shorter and shorter.、Uh, はい、shorter and shorter. The day become s h o r t e Do you know what Mabushi means? Mabushi is like mysterious or. That's、um, Maboroshi. Hi, Maboroshi, which has this,、um, the kanji is Maboroshi. It's right here. That's, that's that mysterious word. Very similar, very similar. Mabushi basically means dazzling. Dazzle. Hi. Mabushi. Mabushi, good d a t Hi, perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. <laughs> I know you're going to do that.、Uh -huh. So, to then, Mabushi, uh, Ikari ga nieta. And suddenly, uh, the dazzling light was seen. Azo, no, so no ato. After that, rain, raime ga kikoeta. The lightning was heard. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Haeru. Perfect. Do you know what it means? To fall, to be、yep. fallen. Perfect. What's the t e f f o r m Haorete. No glottal stop. Tareta. So, tarete. Hi. Let's go read this example、Haorete. sentence. Hi. He's a ga, gaku, gaku, shi. I, who my need is shaking, shaking、uh, Suguni quickly t o w e r e d e s h i m a t a fallen down. Hi. Does this mean when he fell down, he did the action super fast? Like, wow. No, he quickly f a l l down. He doesn't、yeah. fall down quickly. Yeah. So it, it immediately. Means, like, Immediately fell down, yeah. Just,、right. so、the initiation was fast, basically. <laughs> Can you read this word? Hanji no kata. Hi. What does that mean? It's the past negative form. Hi. I did not fell. Perfect. Do you have any idea what taore komu means? Taore komu is to cut something into, to cut into something. Fall into. Taore ru. To fall into. Hi, hi, hi. What's the top form of this word? Hi, Taore Konda. Perfect. Do you know what Ishun means? Ishun in one step. Yeah, in one moment. Let's go read the、oh. line from the book. Hi.、Uh, he's a.、Uh, Ga, gaku, gaku shite. Um, uh, Yuka? Money, I think I can't hear you anymore. Oh,、uh, you、mute. can't. I was muted.、Uh, I'm, just, yeah, I'm, I'm giving you hearts. You're doing it right. <laughs> you said Yuka, that's right. <laughs> yuka ni tao rekonda. Uh, uh. Ishun mabu mabushi ikari ga mie michikai raime ga kikoe tetsu otsuzen nani mo kanji naku nari. Um,、Hi. the knees shaking uh, uh, onto the floor, I was falling. Hi, I、Into. fell onto the floor. Hi. I fell onto the floor.、Uh, and in one moment,、uh, the light that was dazzling、uh, can be seen. I saw it in this present tense. So I see the dazzling light. I hear、uh, the dazzling light was, saw, was seen. Is C. Is C.、Oh, this is so weird. The present non pass. Passive form.、Um, 
the short it, thunder is heard. Uh, suddenly, something was not good, not became. I couldn't feel anything. Yes, I couldn't feel not anything. Kunari. Perfect. Hi. So as far as the tense going, to be truthful, there isn't actually any tense at all in the sentence. It is the sentence drops off before we're given a tense. Um, because but you, hey. you could do past, you could do future, doesn't really matter. The sense here is probably progressive, like you said, where this is happening, this is happening, and then suddenly I can't see anything anymore. But the idea is that it's happening what? right now as the character is saying the things. So he sees this beautiful light, then he hears a, sh a quick little thunderclap, and suddenly he can't feel anything at all. So, to, uh, ten so in English, if we have a book, you have to all do past tense, that's like a law, but in Japanese, the rules for book writing is a little bit different and you actually have to kind of mix between past and present tense depending on how actions are being done, which I don't know the exact rules for things, but it tends to like follow how if you were telling somebody a story <laughs> in English would kind Good of work. Money. Yeah. I have a question for you. Hi, hi. Um, the passive, the passive mm -hmm. way of saying things in Japanese. The, yeah. the, the, the go edu? Edu form. Edu, yes. So if you if if we were to translate that into English, we would have to use the past tense of the verb in order to give the sense of something is happening to the subject. Right? You you could if you didn't want to, right? Like something is being chased, right? She is it's... being chased. But naturally in English we prefer was. She was being chased or like something like right. that. But the B adding there makes the chase into passive form. This um, English is just more complicated because you have to just move everything around in the sentence and add more stuff to it. So it can be hard to like think about it versus Japanese. But in the Japanese, just the verb. Hi, in hi. the Japanese, just because something is passive doesn't mean it's happening in the past, right? It can still be happening now. Same as in English. Yes. Is she being is chased? being chased is, is is not past tense she is being chased but, i guess the verb is in past tense, tense like verb. grammarly but it's not describing a past tense events right right now she's being chased right that's grammarly I, correct the right tense now. the tense the, the tense of the is the being is not... and the is in english here but what do we call that in english when the verb is it's the, the form of the verb that's like the is in participle something past participle yeah it sounds right i i don't but when know. it's in the past participle is not actually in the past tense it's just yes being not in written the with the ed I, yeah theoretically the is, state of is being. our um thing right we have is will and was is kind of our official tense mod our tense modifiers and normally we need to have tense agreement. I do not know why in passive form we don't need tense agreement in English. You can't say she is being chasing. This is just not allowed. I, I don't know why. English is weird. Because uh, you're right, because English is normally in tense agreement. But I'm just saying, just, just like in English, passive form doesn't have well, to be right. past tense. <laughs> it's just the, the, right, the grammar right. looks like it is, but it's not. It's 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 not the the chase is not the past form Tense. of the verb. It's, it's the, the past participle. Yes, Hi. exactly. Which is very very confusing. Uh, oh my gosh, what was that? Sorry about that. You saw, sorry, I was really shocked for something, but oh, the story is so confusing. Continue. I'm so confused. Can you read this bird for me? <laughs> Hi. Um. Yakeni. Hi, yakeni means like awfully, off like a whole bunch. We actually did see this word before in the past, which was about how awfully the city echoes. Can you read this word from our past? Awfully the city was echoed. Uh, uh, um, hi, uh, the takai tenjo no, the high ceiling. Uh, Perfect. Kado, <laughs> kado. Yeah, skip the next thing. Uh, hey. Do you know what the stem hey, form of akeru, akeru is? Uh, akeru? Akeru is mm -hmm. to raise up. 
So I get the step it one is, is to raise up. up. This is I get it. Ke ke. Uh, to close. Uh, open. Hi. To open. The stem form is. Akerimas. Akeri. I think it's just ake. Akita. It is ake. Hi. Uh, um, do you know what yakeni means? Yakeni is an awful amount of something. Perfect. Yep. Like the empty city awfully echoes the sound of things. But it is the I... negative in, in a negative sense, right, Mani? In the sense that a lot of something that is not desirable. I would say it's used the same as the English word awfully, if you're using that as a modifier. Hi. Hi. Um, 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 but it doesn't like have to be like totally negative. It just means like very, it's just how you would use it in English, which doesn't have to be negative, but it, I guess it does have a little bit of a negative. It's very dramatic, <laughs> I guess is what it is, is, is the best way of thinking about it. Yeah, read this except a sentence. Hi, yake ni tenjo ga takai. Yeah, uh, a a ho a lot of um. The ceiling was a whole lot. Very, it's very high, basically. Yes, it's or the ceiling high. is awfully high, as you can see. It's awfully, high. awfully works fine here. <laughs> the ceiling is awfully high. high. You can see it does to some extent have a negative connotation. It probably shows that someone's a little bit like, oh, that is a really high ceiling, you know, rather than, right. but it doesn't, it's not like a super negative thing or anything like that. It's just kind of showing, I guess it shows more shock as, as extra shock value to it than if you said it was super high. Because you probably would use like suge, sugeru or, do you know what kakeru means when you have, it's referring to jutsu? Uh, so it's it's a technique, and he is doing something to the technique. He is putting he is like casting a spell on something. Yes, kakiru is used when you want to cast uh, a spell on something. Yep, to cover someone in a so spell. Okay. But then um, it's in the rareta form. Yes, which is the pass passive form. Yep, passive form. Yep, Bennett. Which um, had a spell cast on him, kakiru. So Kakiru takes hi. Um oh. so Kakiru takes o, Kakaru takes ga. These two words are the same, right? Kakaru, Kakiru. No difference. Um, do you know what umaku means? Umaku. I've seen it before, Moni, but I mm, forgot. You have. Umaku tends umaku. to be used hi. Oh Hi, umaku tends to be used in a way to basically mean something went well, like umakita tends to be how it is. Um, just like words like that. Um, can you read this word for me? Uh, jutsu ga kakatta. Hi. The spell was cast. Hi, perfect. Um, hi. So in so like in this yeah so this can mean like to go well or um skillfully so you could use either oh. meanings for it. Umai is tasty. It is the same um ish word. In general, umaku as umai will have this kanji rather than this kanji even though they are kind of the same word of beating like that thing but you'll normally choose this kanji to have the, the the feeling of yummy food and this kanji the feel more of that the go well right have high quality hand skills type of idea so there there tend to be a um difference in kanji but you can swap out the kanji you can use any either kanji but um it they're 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 a little bit like separate because of that even though they are the same i don't know you're right. Skillfully can mean yummy. Uh, hibara kushite. Shibara kushite. Shibaraku. Shibaraku? Shibaraku means after a period of time, and sudo means to do that. So it's basically just a time phrase saying 
after a little while. After a time, I opened my eyes. Sugini immediately dochita. I closed it. Uh Tenjo ga yakini takai. Ceiling is awfully high. Ah Isuga the chair. Ata Atama no Yue ni aru. I'm on the surface of this. My, uh, I'm on the surface of my, of the head. I'm on the surface of the head. You're correct that theoretically this could say on top of my head is the chair. In this context, most likely it's just saying the 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 chair is above my head. But it could be on top. It's. Theoretically, it has both possible meanings. So if you said the chair is on top of my head, that would be okay. But in the context, I'm letting you know it's above the head, even though both are grammarly possible. Hi, hi. He's shrunk, and now the chair is on top of his head. Wakata. Jutsu ga umaku kakata yoda. Yoda here is, it seems like, it seems like the spell was cast in an umaku way, like, Hi. good. Good it job. It did its job. Yay, it did its job, perfect. It's fun to see yo again, since we saw that earlier today. <laughs> it seems yo like. Hi, seems it like, seems perfect. It seems work to work well. Hi. Hi, do you know how to read this word? Raimei. Hi. What does that mean? It means thunder. Perfect. Specifically. Hi. Well, thunder in English also is the sound, even though it tends to be, that's why we say thunder and lightning. Lightning Hi. is the visual, thunder is the sound. But I agree, as an English speaker, I do get them like, I feel like thunder includes both. <laughs> it's like, oh, Hi. those are two different but things. You... Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's absolutely is thunder the referring thing. specifically only to the sound. Yeah, but but as an Not English speaker, so, yeah, I agree yeah. with you that I don't ever actually think about it as the literal meaning of thunder. So, Not so, including lightning. Hi. Hi. Sasayaku. Sasayaite. Sasayaite. Like something. That's a good guess. It's very close to that. Oh, he he. He reply. It is. He ask. It's a good guess. Um, ask would probably be kiku, and reply would be kotaita. It's totally different, but it does have to do with talking. Never ni wa kikoenai you ni otonashiku shiro to sasayaita. Don't do that. Hi. It says behave yourself. Otonash. In order for Neveri not to listen, Neveri Sasayakus, behave yourself. Sorry, not Neveri, uh, Banette Sasayakus. In order for Neveri not to hear. He whispered. Hi, Sasayaku means to whisper. He, Perfect. he spoke in a hush-hush. Perfect. Um, yattara basically means excessive, and it's a adverb that apparently takes toll. Yattara. Yeah, it just means like excessive. So, wherever that yatta is, yatta to, that just means excessively. Um, let's go read this line from the book. Uh, ashioto ga chi, chikazu, chikazu ite kita. The sound of the footstep approach, approaches. Um, Bennett. But ne nebari da. It is nebari. Mata meo aketara. When I open my eyes one more time. Yatara to. You said a yatara to was uh what was it, Moni? I forgot. Excessive. Excessively excessive. high. 
excessively. Yatara to dekaku. Dekaku basically yeah. means oki. A lot. Okiku. Hi. Okiku. Dekaku. Mieru nebariga. Nebariga. Um, ore no. Oe ka. Oe ka. Gamikomi. Gamikomi. Baka de kai te o. Ore no atama ni no washte kita. Hi, I forgot kagamikomu. This means to um lean into towards. Kagamikomi. Hi, Kagami Kagami Komu. 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 That that is a way adverbs could work. Adverbs in Japanese are a little bit different than adverbs in English in like the way they uh, use. For example, miiru, which is can be seen. So you could say yoku miiru, which means theoretically you can see often, but it's almost always used to mean to see well. Miru tends to instead that use the adverb to describe the way in which you see someone rather than a time phrase of how you see it. So, dekaku, which comes from dekai. What does dekai mean? Dekai is large. Yes, large. So, all we did is that we're describing the way we're seeing Neveri, and that Neveri is now dekai. He's yatara to dekai. So, we could say yatara, yata, yatara. To dekai neburi ga mieru could be what you could say here if you wanted to. But instead, we turn this into an adverb so that we can use this as a nice relative clause with mieru. Kind of helps it make it that uh, we're saying, yes, neburi is dekai, but we're not actually making it into like a fact that he is factually dekai, just that he looks dekai. Neburi who looks huge. Huge, excessively huge. Huge. Uh, he he kaga call me. He, he presses against. He lean into me. He leans. He lean towards me. Hoe. Yes. Uh, so in this case, that's he, like the slope forward leaning. Not kagamu is not used to lean against the wall. That's a different verb in Japanese. He's, he's, he's like he it's like he's bowing. Me. Hi. And he's baka de baka de no ka, like stu stupidly large, right, money? Hi, stupidly large is what oh, baka de ka means. Stupidly large, just too large. Um, uh, tail, so the handle was just way too large. Um, ore no tamani. He put that hand on top of my head. Uh, yes, it is being stretched toward his head. Has it touched his head yet? Oh, Not okay. mentioned. But nobasu but, is to stretch. Mm -hmm. Kita does insinuate it arrived, so it probably did touch his head. Um, but it's it's just saying he he stretched his hand out toward my head. Nobashi uh, Hi. Do you know what judan means? Judan. Chutan, chutan, chutan. Hmm. Was that Jew from Egypt? Probably uh, not. One moment. I would assume not. That's probably the kanji. Something fire? No, no relationship. Ishun looks like that. Um, I don't know if that's the kanji for this word or not. This means carpet. Jutan is carpet. Carpet. Hi, hi. Do you know what yotto sort of means? Yotto. Yotto. Mm -mm. 
no idea, man. Go. Yo. Is the sound you make when someone startles you? Go. <laughs> I'm startled. Hi, hi, hi. Can you read this example sentence for me? Yo. Yo. Uh, Higure no kimi wa yotto shita. The Lord of Twilight startle. Perfect. And what is a jutan? Jutan is a carpet. Perfect. Carpet. And do you know what a shiri is? That's a tail. Hi, it is a tail. How do you read this kanji? Oh, actually, shiri is butt, but it does show up in the word for tail, which is shippo, sheep, I believe. I thought the word for butt was like the word for hip. It, so, koshi and shiri. Ah, shiri are both words in English that you would probably use the word but for, but they are referring to different body parts. Shiri is more referring to what you actually like mean when you say the word but, and koshi though is actually referring to this location that is slightly more above. So um, because of that, if you like put your hand on your lower back, that's your koshi. And if you land, if you fall to the ground, and your falling is just slight, is more of a like harsh fall, you're going to probably fall on your koshi. But if you fell on your shiri, you're falling on your plump rump. So it's more like a bouncing feeling. <laughs> so so they, they, they both are basically referring to the same location. So in English, we tend to use but not we don't really talk about our lower back very often, like at all. It's either just our back Hi. or our butt. That's just how we talk. But Japanese kind of splits up that extra area for us because we can say lower back, but that just is not natural in English at all to refer to dislocation <laughs> unless I, you're like a doctor so or something. It could also mean tail, shiri. Yeah, but specifically like in shippo, the, the word for tail is o, which has this kanji, right? So it has that same door, but rather than having nine inside of it, it has fur. That is tail. Oh. So, but shippo. it's pronounced shiri. Shiri That's is well. but, yes. No. Shippo. Tail is, is, yeah. is o or shippo. And there's another reading as well for tail, like oppo. Those are all tail. So o is tail, shippo is tail, and oppo is also tail. Those are, those are three different ways to say tail. I do not know how they're different. <laughs> they're all tail. Um, but so shiri does show up in shippo because it is the tail that's on your butt. Which old tails are on your butt? I don't really know why they wanted to specify that. Um, shippo, I feel Hi. like, occurs more often in anime. But in this book, o is more common, I guess. It's like, look at this shippo. Hi. Maybe she pulls more like a dog's tail. Um, how do you read this kanji? It has a nine inside of it. Shiri, shiri. Hi, shiri, perfect. Which is a bump, it's your rump. Let's go read this example sentence. Majutsu shi no o shiri wa dekasugiru. Kasugiru. De ka. Very large. Hi. Right? Uh, yes. is too much. It is way too large. Hi. Deka is from Dekai. Yes. What is, yeah, so it's the magician's butt is way too big. Hi. And we have an O here. You'll normally see that with Shiri because it's just that politeness, kind of like Ocha. You could just say Cha, but Ocha is more likely. Because you're referring to someone else's tea, someone else's butt. Um, can you read this word for me? Tobi, Tobi no ku. Hi, Tobi no ku. Any idea what this might mean? It means fly, but fly in a certain way. Yes, it is some kind of flying. Perfect. The no ku here comes from like to exclude. Um, or to retreat kind of idea. So tobi no ku means to jump out of the way. Jump out of the way. Hi, can you read this word for huh. me? 
Wait, Moni, so the word、はい、to jump and the word to fly are similar in Japanese? There is no difference between the word to jump and the word to fly in Japanese. If you want to specify jumping, you can say jump in English, and that's how you can do that. But otherwise, tobu has the meaning of jump and it has the meaning of fly, and they do not separate these two meanings、um, unless you want to use the English word jump. There is a special word if you want to refer to hopping on two feet, like a rabbit. That's like,、uh, we'll be seeing that later. I don't remember what it is on top of my head. It's like haneru or something, which I feel like it's a ram into something. But yeah, tobu does not separate flying or jumping. Hi.、Right. Yeah, one of those weird, huh? Didn't separate the word. Tobu. Tobu. It's actually quite accurate.、Mm -hmm. To fly is, in fact, to jump. Hi. Flying is just a very, very long, long <laughs> jump. Hi. <laughs>、right, can you read this word for me? Shirimochi. Hi. Shirimochi. So, mochi right here probably comes from the word mochi, which is a kind of food. Have you ever had mochi before? I think it was like the clump of rice. That was sticky rice, right? Yes, that's sticky rice sweet.、Um, that is correct. That is what it is.、Um, so, this type of sweet is very a、um, lot like Play Doh. But if you could eat Play Doh and it was delicious, that's what mochi is、um, edible Play Doh. So, shiri mochi is combining the word butt with Play Doh or slime or whatever to give you this very.、Um, Bouncy kind of feeling when you're talking about someone's butt. And this tends to be added when someone like falls and you like they plopped down kind of way. So, versus to sit down. So, because you made it、like、that your bouncy... butt went. Yeah, good, like a bounce. It's a bouncy、hi. ball. Like a bouncy ball. Hi, hi, hi. Let's go read this example sentence. You got, you got, you got, you c a n eat. y u k a n i d e s h i w a s h i r i m o c h i o s u t a The apprentice landed on the floor or bounces, bounces on the floor. Hi. And what kind, what, where did, what does he make contact with the floor? Is it like, the, does he bounce he, on his face? He, he fallen on his butt and it's Kind of like a bouncy fall. Exactly. Perfect. What is the t e r m of Tobi no Ku? Tobi no Ku. Tobi no Ku. 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 When we say that agete is to raise up. Hi.、Um, it does mean to raise up. In this idea, it's layman's English to raise your voice, right? To raise your voice. I raise my voice. Tabi no ita. I jump out of the way. Hi. Nobody. Nobody ga. Yo do. Shita.、Uh, his face is his kao.、Yeah. Hi. He had a, a shock expression.、Um, or startle expression.、Uh, Yuka no. Yuka no. Shun. Shutan.、Uh, the carpet on the floor.、Uh, Hi. Shirimochi o s u k u I fallen on my butt. Who fell on their butt? um No, nobody fallen on his butt. It was、yes. shocked. Hi, hi, hi,、uh, hi. So, shocked looked on his face. So, in other words, nobody, he's stretching out toward Khan, and Khan is like, oh my god, that hand is so effing big. So, he goes、Rah! and jumps backwards. This, of course, causes nobody to fall back on his rump and go, ah! As well. He was very shocked. Hi. Hi.
い、はい、えっとおかはいおかしいおかしい What does that mean? It's mean cute あ,あ、かわいい、no, かわいい,かわい,い Very similar かわいい They both start with the same か But now it's an o おかしい is beautiful Ah, that is utsukushi. Mm. Okashi, oh, no, that's strange. Okashi na. It can also mean funny. In the context we're going to see it, it probably means funny. But it can mean funny or weird. Oh, that's weird. Let's go be beautiful. Utsukushi. Hi. Utsukushi. And then the other one was. Kawaii? Kawaii, cute, strange, beautiful, cute. Okay. Uh, yaki. Yaku? Yaku ni hachi so ni nai. Doesn't seem to be useful. Hi, perfect. What did okashi mean? Okashi is strange. Or、Hi. funny. And try to make sure there's a long E here because otherwise it sounded like you said the word sweet. Nom, nom, nom. Okashi. Hi, hi, hi. Let's go read the line from the book. Okashi de. Warai da shi so ni nata. It's strange. It seems funny. Warai da. What I do is like to burst out laughing. Hi. So ni nata is seems to become. Looks、Hi. as if he's burst out laughing. Hi. In this, in, in, in this case, like you could translate that. In this case, the main logically, like, like it could be. Can't. Like it, it's not saying it cannot be n e b e r t y we're talking about here, but it makes more sense to think it's con. So it's more like a con says, like, I was about to burst out laughing. It was so funny. So ni nata. Yeah, it almost came to be. Is what it so feels so funny.、Means. It feels to him so funny. So、I、ni. It's subjective to con. Con is subjectively observing that. This thing is so strange that it's. I want to laugh. Sore ni shintemo. Sore ni, on top of that. Hi. Shitemo is suru and a mo. Sore ni shitemo means basically even though. So even with that. Even with that. Nande. Nebari ga konna ni dekaku mierunda. Dekaku is also the large again. Why does、Hi. he look so large? Even、Perfect. so, why does he look s- so Konnani. large? Like, konna ni is that so? That's so. In this way, I guess. Perfect. Do you know how to read this number? Yo. Hi. Do you know how to read this word? Ka. Ga. Go. No, no, no. Kado. Hi. Kado. Corner. Hi. It can also be read as kaku, depending on the context, which、um, means angle. Kaku. So in this case, it is angle. What is it? How do you read it? Kaku for angle. Perfect. Kado for corner. So this is she what? She kaku. Four corners. What is, hi, what is something that has four corners? It's either a square or it's basically a quadrangle. Yeah, a rectangle. Hi, hi, hi. 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 You're, you're totally right. This tends to refer to a square or a rectangle, not like a trapezoid, but you are correct. Yeah, trapezoids do have four corners. Um, you're not wrong, but it's it. Shikaku is just used to mean square normally in Japanese. Uh, that, yeah.
Weird, weird thing about that. Um, can you read this word for me? Zobi ette. Zobi ette. Sobi ette. Hi. Sobi ette. Sobi eru. Ippon. Hi. Hi. We're talking about taiboku. Taiboku. Which is a branch. Big tree. A tree. branch. One of it. Hi. There's one big tree with black branches in the middle of the garden doing sobieru. It's towering over. Perfect. That is what it means. Hi. So, sobiet tatsu, exact same thing. It is to tower over. It just adds the idea that someone is standing to sta tower over you. While sobiet before, trees don't stand. They just are, right? So, this would be more like a person standing over you. So, uh, that kind of idea. Um, so, here, it's it's the table doing that. So, you it just... You, I guess it insinuates that you like moved, like it's a movable object, I guess, rather than just doing so we do. Doesn't really matter. It's about the same. Yeah, let's go read the example sentence. The chair, uh, us. I stand the chair. Towards uh, the tateru table. Tateru doesn't mean stand. Tatsu means stand. Tateru is to line up? Yeah, it can mean to line up in this context, yes. He play, play, He basically, he leans this. That's another, that's the actual leading word here. He leans the... He leans the chairs. Uh, to against... means... um. The stick, the stick. Stick, hi. He yes. leans the stick. Cane. Towards... The table that is standing or that mm -hmm. is towering, uh, uh, the person is doing this is Lord of Twilight. Lord of Twilight stand the stick against the standing table or the towering table. Perfect. Do you know what a kagami is? Kagami is a mirror. Perfect. And that is the kanji for mirror. We have metal because mirrors are made out of metal, obviously. Can you read this for me? Uh, kagami o tatteru teburu wa sobie tatsu. The table that was standing. The, the table that was tatteru? Um, it says kagami o. Tateru? So you could say teburu ga. You could also say teburu ni in the insinuated sentence. As the only th rule for relative clauses is that you have to take out a noun. The noun is either going to be having a o, ni, ga, or very rarely a no attached to it in the original sentence. So this original sentence, kagami o tateru, could have been teburu, sorry, teburu, um, sorry, I'm just going to rewrite that, teburu, it can either be teburu no kagami, teburu o, that's not possible, we already have an o, teburu ni, or teburu ga, which one do you think makes more sense? Uh, kagami o tatteru, stand the mirror against the table. Ni. Yes, that makes the most sense. So, ni. Hi. But yeah, so that's what happens in Japanese. You have to just be like, what makes the most sense whenever you see a relative clause? Because all, all those are possible, grammarly. Hi. So, so basically, I... the table that has a mirror lent against it, what is it doing? It tower. It's stand towering over. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Stand tall. Stand tall, basically. Hi. Um, yo. No, she. She kaku. Hi. Shikakui. Shikakui is just an e adjective that means squarish. Squarish. 
Alright, so let's go read the line from the book. Nebari ga tachi agari. Tachi agari. Kozo kochie kite miru ga hyoi. To sobieta tsu teburu kara oki kute. しかにかがみを取って床に立ってあ、そうそう、いいがいいあ、ねぶりひあがりひざはちあがりひ stand up はい and he say あ、こぞ、おい。こっちへ。来て。見えるが良い。あ、あ、ヒセテオカンとあ、見えるが良い。とルックマイウェイ。テイクグッドルックアットミー。イズアウォリサ Take a good look at me. So, kochie is toward me, and kite does mean come. Um, miru ga yoi means you should look at it. It could be me. There's nothing saying it can't be me. It's not super likely since it's not attached with the particle o. Um, and in the context of reading the whole entire sentence, which is always good to do if you ever get confused, is that he actually saying look at yourself. Um, but yourself has been fully dropped from the sentence. He says, "Boy, come here and look." It's literally just what it says. Boy, so what to look at? Not said in the sentence. Take a look. Sobietatsu teburu kara from the towering table. Okikute shikakui kagami o totte. Totte, money, totte. Is is this also standing? That's a good guess. That's tatsu, which um would be tatte. Tatte comes from the verb toru, which does not look like that. It means to take. So, nobody takes something, right? He takes the mirror. Hi. The square, the, the square mirror, and it's large. That was from the table that was towering over. Hi. He took that, and he stand it tateta on the floor. You got neat. Perfect. Hi. Yep. That's exactly what it says. So this context of him getting that huge ass mirror and leaning it against the floor in some way is that he wants the kid to look at himself. Because the kid can or because otherwise, what's the point in moving that me around? But literally, just says, "Look at it, look at it." Um, do do do. Yeah, you got all those really good. Do you know what nozoku means? Nozoku. Nozoku. Chan, cha, shagan de kaku no hoko, mako nozoite mita. Uh, to peek a peek to peek at something. Hi, to peek at something. Perfect. Um, what's the common? Hi, what's the passive form of you to be told? Passive form, e r. Hi. E r. Um. E r. Um, is to be able to do it, which is um, potential form. Passive is to be told. So you're going to drop this and add wa, de, ru, iwaru. Iwareru. Hai, iwareru. Iwareru. Hai. Uh, can you read this for me? Uh, o, shi, e, wa, 
Oshiwa no to count to teach Oshiwata Hai Oso Osowata Osowata Tori uh, to to teach completely um that's a good guess. So to teach is oshieru, you're right. But osawaru is actually to be taught. So it's exactly as I was taught. Osawatta tori. Um, oshieta tori would mean as exactly as I taught. <laughs> Not, I, like, so osawaru is exactly as I was taught. And oshieta tori would be exactly as I taught. So that's why it's nebody ni here. Because nebody taught I how to do it. So I tried to make never the muffins just like nebody taught me. Versus something also else. what that told you, as I as I was taught. Hi, and actually, you already know how to read that word. So I'm skipping that. Let's go read the line from the book. Iware da tori. As I was told, chikazuite. I came closer. Uh, nozoite mita. I took a peek. I tried to take a peek. Hi. Wow. <laughs> he uh he got to he got to exactly he, he got to was... stud. <laughs> he got to stud. <laughs> so yeah, exactly as I told, I took a peek. Whoa, got to stud. Perfect. So now we have a very long section. I wanted you to read. <laughs> Henshi no jutsu to wa. The self transform the transformation technique. Sore zore no. Uh, what is that? That look like mono. This is mono. Sore zore no mono no. Hon jutsu ni. Fusawashi Ikimono ni Henshi Sare Jutsu Nanoda. He says something about his technique. Hi. <laughs> He's saying that the transformation technique is a technique Hi. that is that a uh, uh, Henshin Sare that can cause the per person to change uh, into into a ikimono into a living thing that is fushawashi which is what kind of a living thing a fushawashi? suitable thing a suitable living thing uh and sorezore no mono no honjutsu something about reality but truly nice like the real thing it's haunted Hi. it's real it's like it's real... your true nature Hi. sore zore is about roughly about uh, that's like an a, estimation. in this case it's each and every but um about is very similar to that word so each person's whole true character is what decides so it's saying it's not suitable for humanity in general it's it's for each person's suitable creature so who you in particular would fit suit, not um, a group of person or something. Mm -hmm. So, so this word it. started with hon. What did it end with? Jitsu. Hi. Hon jitsu. Perfect. Um, do you know what the bolded word on this page is? Uh, kozo wa horo 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 horo. Uh, he, uh, no, I forgot. That's Swallow? kitanai. Which is dirty. Dirty. Kitanai. It's opposite of kire. Hi, exactly. Opposite of kire. So let's go read this example sentence. Ore no honjitsu ni. My true self. My true me. Fusawashi ikimono no wa. Kirai nezumi da. It's a dirty mm -hmm. mouse. It is a dirty mouse. So gross. It's a um, suitable living thing. <laughs> dirty mouse. Yep. <laughs> yep. The living creature that is most suitable for my true nature is a dirty mouse. 
How about a cookie booty? Do you know what that is? Is it true, Money? That's I'm not, not going to tell you until you read the sentence. Oh, my. It's so awful. <laughs> he turned him into a rat. Maybe. Oh. Or a gokey booty. Do you know what a gokey booty what a, is? That's what a dirty mouse is. It's basically a, a rat. So, so, so. <laughs> oh, gokey gori. I don't know what a gokey gori is. A gokey booty is a cockroach. You'll hear this a lot in anime. They hate cockroaches in Japan. Okie booty. Hi, hi, hi. So let's go read this sentence. <laughs> <laughs> this is so suspenseful. Um, <laughs> Higure no kimi wa. Hikiri no kimi no honjitsu ni. The true nature of the Lord of Twilight. Hi. Fushawashi i ikimono no wa. The creature that, that is suitable to the true nature of the Lord of Twilight. Ki, uh, what is dirty again, money? Ah, uh, kitanai. Uh, kitanai. Kitanai goki burida. It's a dirty cockroach. Perfect. Right? That's dirty exactly cockroach. what it means. Do you know what hazu means? Hazu is without. Right. No, um, no, 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 no. Can, so right. zoo, zoo can mean without, but hazu is its own thing. It's mean it should be or it must be. It should be. Yes, perfect. It should be. Tekiri is a adverb that basically means like exactly right. Suits you perfectly type of idea. Tekiri. Tekiri. And here will be our last line from the day. Hai. Ore no honjitsu ni fusawashii ikimono no ikimono wa tekiri go Kiburi ka. Why is there a ka there, Moni? Um, you have to read the whole sentence to find out. Go kiburi ka. Kitanae. Kitanae. Nezumi da. To omote ita no ni. Nebari mo kito. So, mo, so, mo, de, ita, hazu, da. Ay, this is difficult. So, hi. So, first say... off, let's start with um, no ni. What does that mean? It's mean, even though. Hi, even though I amote ita. I thought. Hi, that ore no honjitsu ni fusashi mono wa. That the most suitable living creature for my true personality or my true nature was was a dirty mouse. Ka. Or ka Hi. is or. It is or. Good job. <laughs> a kitanai nezumi, a dirty Hi. mouse. Or a tekiri, meaning. Just so, right. So yeah, so tekiri is an adverb. So it it's it's not describing the gokiburi or the kitanai nezumi. It just is it's kind of like backwardsy describing fusawashi. It's definitely it's that. Definitely suitable. A go gokiburi, which is a cockroach. So he's saying, right. I thought that the most suitable creature of my nature is is either a cockroach or a dirty mouse. However. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, nebari mo kito. What is mo kito? Uh, kito means definitely, and mo means also. And nebari also thought, like nebari also think that way. So mo te ita has it. Nebari he should must. Have... He should also think in that way. Perfect. Kito. 